What is good? What is going on? It is Friday morning and I'm on my way to a repeat offender. Um, but yeah, on our way to a house in Friedehoek that has a large puffadder in their garden. Uh, I say a repeat offender, I've actually been to the house previously and we took a pretty small puffadder out from beneath the guy's water tank or behind the water tank, something like that. Um, you can see the video, it's on my channel uh, from a couple months back. But his house essentially backs on straight onto to the Mountain National Park. So the snakes have a free rain coming in and out. So that's why he gets a couple of unwanted visitors from time to time. Anyway, uh, as soon as I get there, I'm going to strap on the GoPro and we'll take you with us. Cool. Oh, so we just arrived to the house. I actually remembered where it was this time. Uh, let's get the tube. I still actually have everything sitting in here from that mole snake from the previous video, which you guys might have seen. So, oh, yes, hey, how are you doing? Is it... Yeah. Gonna have to go that way. Which way? Okay, perfect. Has it gone across? Sitting there. Okay, perfect. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Good. Hello. Yeah. Yes, that's me. Yes. Come, come, come. I show you. Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? Good, man. Oh, you were here last year. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was trying Just to think. on the other side. Oh, is it on the other side? Yeah. Yeah. You were here. Yeah. Now he's there. Yeah. Okay, now he's switched across. Okay. So I think he was about to leave because actually it was extended to there and my it? foot was I there. I can't see it yet. It's there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's just hiding up there. Okay. Um, I just want to put my tube up here because that's where we'll bring him up and deal with him. You see, they shouldn't get much activity now because it's it's getting so cool. But you can see he's just quite relaxed. Say, well, buddy. It, was, it was full extended. Oh, was he on the on the no, on the paving? There. I just realized when I put my foot right there, <laughs> and then he went all the way back. Yeah, yeah. There. It was zoom in, and that's this is typically. I can see that hole. You see that? Yeah, yeah. And this is typically what they do when it's cool like this. You see how just a little bit of his body is in the sun. Yeah. And then what he'll do once that little piece of the body gets warm, it'll then move around. So each time it puts because that way he segment. yeah that way he can stay pretty much as camouflage as possible he looks like much bigger than the other one we got last time that's worth my impression <laughs> yeah see with these the fences here they just come straight through yeah. oh he's quite big actually oh he's gonna try and pull through yep oh is he coming through to me yeah but it's okay i'll grab him by the tail which is not ideal <laughs> Oh my oh, yeah, god. Oh yeah, it's huge. Oh my god. There you oh go. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. No, no, I got it. Don't don't worry. Oh my god. I see it's um I think it's gonna shed. It's looking like it's in the blue. But yeah, nice. Nice, this is a proper size puff adder compared to the last one. Yeah, it's a, it's, oh, it's a big male as well, got a long tail. But anyway, oh see we'll just put its head straight near here and it should, with a bit of luck, go right in. No, it's not going to go in. Yeah, see, it knows where the plants are, so it just wants to go back. Okay, we're going to just... We're just going <laughs> to... Yeah, they, um... <laughs> no, 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 I'm just trying to get it to go in this tube as gently as possible. <laughs> Yes. Can you tell us if it's a male or a yeah, this this is a male. Ma uh, males. Of... I thought it was pregnant. No, yeah, it's just very. <laughs> He's being very difficult. Yeah, sometimes they're difficult, but there you go. Yeah. You see, what I was saying is sometimes the snakes in the suburbs. They are really fat because they eat a lot of rats and mice that are around the, you know, the homes and that sort of thing. But as always, I'll take him back to the mountain, but I usually go sort of quite a bit of the way, so he won't, he won't come back. So we just caught this large puff head in that garden. As you can see, we're right here, beautiful table mountain. And we're going to release this puff right here. I'll just go in the bush a little bit, so 
that was just the noon gun firing off if you can hear it but yeah we're gonna release this puffet in this beautiful pristine habitat of Cape Fembos so let's go so here we go let's see if we can give you a look at this puff at <laughs> just a bit wrapped up there have a look at that beautiful male puff at so let's get him out of the tube and we'll let him go so here's just this beautiful male puff at again and we're just going to caress it gently just so it moves off into the felt you can hear it hissing that's exactly why they're called puff hitters. very upset and there it goes another successful catch and release thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next video